Here's your latest African news. Mali's coup leader Asimi Goita seizes power yet again. Soldiers close to the Puches National Committee for the Salvation of the People sent the President and Prime Minister to Kati Kamp after a reshuffle of the interim cabinet saw the removal of two senior military officials. Colonel Asimi Goita says President Daw and Prime Minister Wan failed in their duties and were seeking to sabotage the country's transition. Colonel Goita says elections will still go ahead next year as planned. But he ignored pleas from the UN chief, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, the EU, and the US that the president and prime minister be released without any preconditions. The two men have been held at a military camp outside the capital, Bamako, since they were arrested on Monday evening. Residents of Bamako voiced their concerns on the ongoing saga. The military are not welcome. They're not welcome. When there's a problem in the country, the military shows up to try to deal with it. It's not up to the military to take over from those who left. It will mess everything up. What is happening today is not normal. It's unfair. The problem today is unjust. Those to whom God gave power should fight injustice. I don't like that. None of the promises are good. 80% of the country is controlled by terrorists, jihadists, drug traffickers, rebels, roadblockers, and robbers of all kinds. And despite this disastrous situation, despite the effort from the international community to stabilize Mali, despite other countries and other nationalities paying the price to try and maintain this fragile unity, all that the colonels care to do is fight for the power in Bamako. It's very tragic not only for the army but for the Malian people who are already on borrowed time. We understand that what is going on today is a way to keep the regime afloat. Nothing has changed. We chased a cat away and the dog came to replace it. Therefore, nothing has changed. We aren't against anyone. We're here to denounce this mafia-like system which has taken our country hostage. The soldiers' place is on the front line. They should return to the barracks or go liberate a city and let the people govern. That's really what I think. Vice President Colonel Asimi Goita claims the President and Prime Minister's actions were attempts to sabotage the transition into a civilian government and assure that elections will be held next year as planned. The immediate release of Daw and Wan is still being demanded by the UN, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, the EU, and the United States. This story is still developing. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our latest African videos. I was your presenter of the day, Kiri. You can follow me on Instagram at kiri.han and on YouTube at kiri.han voice talent. You can now leave your suggestions or topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below.